Skywatch AI insurance is on demand and anytime you need it, check out the link below. What's up guys, welcome to the world of large scale 3D printing. I'm Justin Davis and today we're gonna to build something that's gonna be functional. I use this large scale 3D printer, it's a Creality CR10 S5. It prints 500 by 500 by 500. That's almost 20 inches tall and wide. You can print really, really big things with this printer, but we're gonna print something that's functional, maybe something like a boosted board, but a little bit cooler. Now I've printed all kinds of fun stuff, very functional stuff with 3D printers, like 3D printed rockets. People are printing 3D printed surfboards and taking them out in the surf and riding waves with them. Another crazy guy printed something like a 3D printed kayak, if you can believe that or not. But the guy took it out in a lake and it actually does paddle. Now what I wanted to do was put this printer to the test, see if it could handle something like a long 100 hour print like a 3D printed skateboard. And I used some of the parts available from Ivory Boards. You can check them out in the link below. If you want to get your own power pack, you can do a two wheel drive or you can do a four wheel drive setup for off road. They also have optional different wheels available on ivoryboards.com. But let's go ahead and get started now with the first few parts of the board. We're going to assemble it in the shop, put it together together. We're going to pick out some grip tape. I have several different types of grip tape available right here in the shop. And after that, we'll take it out. We'll do a road test with it. We're going to do some off road with it on road. And we'll also take it on the smooth blacktop and we'll see how this board performs. We're also going to use the cheapest material available, which is PLA. So uh, will it hold up in a skate test? We're gonna find out, here we go.
All right, guys, welcome back from that skate test. That was a lot of fun. This is what's so cool about large scale 3D printing is that you can, anything pretty much you can dream up, you can print on these, assemble it in the shop, use all the hardware needed. If you're gonna print a 3D printed skateboard or an electric longboard, be extra careful when you take it out there. Make sure it has all the reinforcements and you test it before you take it out on an open highway or a street. I'm not totally responsible for what you guys do, so it's all up to you for safety. Wear a helmet out there when you're riding these. They are extra dangerous, but I had a lot of fun with mine. I played around with it on road, off road, and it survived the test. The PLA actually survived. I, I didn't think that the PLA was gonna survive this test. I thought for sure that this would crack right where the hardware goes through the board. Once I leaned left and right, I thought this was just gonna crack right there and I would be done with this board. But it held up in all the testing on road, all the way down Alberta Street in Portland, and it held all the cracks and sidewalks and bumps and even into the end of a sidewalk right here. Like a lot of skateboards take that front impact on accident. That did happen and it survived that. So that's kind of amazing. This is a really fun printer. Whatever you can dream up, surfboards, kayaks, skateboards, whatever you want. Check this one out in the link below. I'm gonna give you an extra coupon deal on that and uh, you guys can grab one of these if you want to. Start doing some projects at home yourself. Also be sure to click and comment down below on this video because we're giving away two drones this month. We're giving away an Emacs Baby Hawk R Pro right here. This is a pretty awesome drone. And we're giving away an iFly IH3 Mini 1080p micro brushless drone right here on the channel and click on my Patreon if you want to support me on my videos because I love making videos for you guys and this is my passion. My full-time gig is YouTube. So thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis. Click that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.